Hi, I'm Dennis Stanley, and with Lindsay Jones University, I want to take just a moment with your coordinators and instructors and your program directors and DCEs. For those of you who are interested in improving how your students perform on a credentialing exam, like the CRT and the RRT exams, specifically the multiple choice type exams, it's 2015 now, so we're on the therapist multiple choice exams, but historically, the co COARC has given you a report. Now, they say they're going to alter this report, and until that happens, Happens. We know that that's happened. Uh, this video is going to be appropriate. If they do change this, then it might change the way you work with this. But historically, on the COARC report, it shows specifically how into your individual students are doing on their credentialing exams, and it shows specific weaknesses, and those weaknesses are in alignment with the exact same matrices areas as the NBRC. So you can look at a specific content area and they'll have a column there. And in some cases, if you're printing your report out in color, it'll show that you're kind of red in some places and that means that you're below the national average. Now that may be an independently changing therapy in response to a patient or airway management, whatever that is for you. What we find, and we've worked with several universities on this, that re in reality you could make just minor changes to your syllabus in different courses and drastically change the performance level of your students. And here's how you do that. What we find is that when we go to generate an exam, and I'm logged in here as a student, so if you want to do this, as a group, just make yourself a student in your own group, and then, of course, log in as a student, and then go look at a TMC exam. Because what you can do is you can access our database of, of questions that, remember, we don't write exactly word for word like the NBRC. We're not allowed to do that. We wouldn't do that anyway. What we do write is questions that are very similar and cover very similar topics. So if there's a specific focus on some aspect of an airway, we're going to make sure we write questions that focuses a little bit on that specific aspect as well. And so let's say you say, I want to study, excuse me, determine by subject area. What you can do is you'll see there's a number of subject areas here. Let me see if I can zoom in here. I don't know what will happen if I try to zoom in. Let me click out of this and then try to zoom in. There we go. All right. Okay, so if I pick a subject area, these same areas may be reported on my COARC report, and I may find out that 3F is a weak spot for us, and that is for the nation, actually. Independently modify therapeutic procedures based on a patient's response. I can sit around as a group, and I can look at all of the questions in our database from that area, keeping in mind that they can be very similar and very helpful in preparing for the actual exam. And so I can generate this exam, and here's a question. Now, interestingly, I'm going to back out here just a little bit. Interestingly, I don't necessarily have to read this question. I'm going to come right down here to the exit. I'm going to get out of the test, having not answered a single question. Remember, I'm posing as a student here, and as you can see, I got a 0%. So, but I'm going to go straight to review the test. And here we have uh, all of the questions in the database with related, that is related to 3F, independently modifying a therapy in response to a patient, or modifying those therapeutic procedures. So I can sit as a group with instructors and go through here and read these, including the rationale, and what we find is that occasionally an instructor who has that class will say, well, yeah, I teach that about Heliox, but I don't teach this specific uh, fact that they're bringing out. And so what we find is that an instructor can make very minor responses or minor changes, I should say, to their syllabus and make a drastic difference on the way students perform on the exam. We've done this with a few colleges and universities, and they have reported a, just a remarkable change where they've shifted from being a weak area below the national average to just instantly becoming above the national average. And why is it happening? Because there's just a few details that that instructor has not anticipated, maybe even just a fact here and there. And so they don't include it in their teaching, and unknowingly, it's actually on the exam. And so that I hope that's helpful to you. And that's how you, that's how you can improve the performance of your students on the actual exam by just looking at our questions in that subject area 
and making sure you're generally covering those areas and including those details in that way. I hope that's been helpful. That's really a neat way to improve your group's performance on the national board exams. Again, COARC is threatening to change that report. Perhaps by the time you watch this video, they have. But until then, we want to make sure you have this information because it can make a big difference. And thank you for using Lindsay Jones University.